we're live here at Broadview Station tonight where many commuters have been looking forward to a downtown relief line to help ease some of the congestion there on line two, the Bloor Danforth line. But after yesterday's provincial budget was announced, well, this morning, Mayor John Tory had some very strong words for the province, which could mean that your crowded commute won't be getting any better anytime soon. Let's be clear. Without matching dollars from the province, the relief line cannot be built. And like dominoes, the mayor says other much needed transit projects will also fall thanks to the lack of new funds from the province. Waterfront transit will not be built. The Eglinton East LRT cannot be built. Yesterday's budget outlined money for transit projects in the city, but it's all previously announced funding for expansion that's already underway. The city was looking for the province to at least match federal funding for new transit projects. According to numbers from the mayor's office, this is what Tory was looking for. The relief line with an estimated cost of $6.8 billion would need $2.24 billion from the province. The $1.6 billion Eglinton East LRT, well, that would need just over $550 million. Waterfront transit would cost roughly $1.5 billion to build, and the mayor was looking for at least 500 mil from Queen's Park. We get that Toronto is, uh, is a big part of the engine of uh, the economy in this province. <laughs> the premier says it's not all about Toronto. But make no mistake, I'm the premier of the province of Ontario. So the, the mayor of uh, Mississauga, the mayor of Kenora, both of whom I spoke to yesterday, they are important leaders and those jurisdictions are extremely important to the province of Ontario as well. As City News told you last month, a condo boom in the core is expected to bring nearly 40,000 new homes to the downtown. And city planners say the relief line is essential to keep up with a population set to double in 20 years. I don't think the population of Toronto feels snubbed. I think John Tory feels snubbed. Political expert Nelson Wiseman says this transit funding tug of war will likely not do any additional damage to win and the Liberals here in Toronto. With a vacant home tax and hotel tax now also possibilities for the city, Wiseman says Toronto has plenty of options to close the funding gap. There's nothing to keep Toronto from raising its property tax. I mean, apparently it's got well below average in the GTA. And Toronto's fairly well to do. It could, it could easily do it. Now, without the relief line in place, the mayor also says that plans to extend the Young subway line from Finch Station up into York Region are also in jeopardy without the province's help.